no new deal, aren't you? <coughs> aren't you a new deal operative? Yes, I am. I'm not on the new deal. So you don't need to pretend if you don't want. I'm just doing my bit, giving you the instructions. If you don't want to pretend, that's fine. Good. But to, just to know that it will affect your benefits if you don't attend. So what's new? Just giving you the information. You need. <laughs> Oh, you can't it. Are we so not? Says we're who? talking about the appointment, we're not discussing anything says else. Who? We're not here to have an argument, okay? There's no point in discussing it, I'm not on the new deal. So you keep saying, right. oh, if you don't mind, it's now keep putting writing this deal on. I'm not discussing it. You put it in writing. No, I don't need to. Explain to me that the fact that I'm not on the new deal, but yet I'm talking to you again. Mr. Young, enough. Come I'm out not of arguing the... with you. Enough. Enough of what? I've said to you, I'll take you again. I'm not on the new deal, why am I seeing you? Because unfortunately you don't have a choice in who you see, Mr Young. Says who? Says who? I have to come here and sign once every fortnight and that's it. That's what the E40 says. Don't need to. I've already put it in writing. You guys don't seem to understand it. So that's why I'm sat here talking to you. I'll give you the information and you can go. Did you write it? I'll go now. If you fail to sign, I'll shut your claim for five working days. You want to shut it? Explain in writing why you're doing it. Because if you don't... My ES40 says I have to come to once every fortnight. you lean on my desk like that once more, I'll phone the police. You want to take a seat? You want to take a seat? Go on over there. Shut up, little girl. Get out. No, you'll have to leave. You'll have to leave, will I? Yeah. On what basis? That's why they don't want to see you. Why is that then? Explain. Why is the building? I want to Explain. You You're the one that's speaking in a manner. Goodbye, Mr. Young. Mr. Young, you'll have to leave. On what basis? Goodbye, Explain. I'd rather don't want to see you. Go and get a manager. On what basis? Well, she's not prepared to say yet. Let me explain something to you. I've put it in writing that I'm not on the New Deal. I've rescinded all signatures, yet I am sat here seeing a New Deal operative. Do you want to explain that? Well, it's all, it's all been gone through. It's all been gone through before. But you don't seem to understand it. Who are you? Michael, customer service manager. Last name. Sorry? What's your last name? I don't have to give your last name. And why is that? Well, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to get into it either with you. Either you leave or else we call the police. Call the police. Call the police. You haven't given me a valid reason why I have to leave. So you have to get the police. You call the police. Yeah. We need a police constable. I'm afraid a police so is not mandated to enforce common law. So we need a constable, sir. Would you ring through and get a constable? Are you the person in question? I am indeed. Would you please leave? Would you get a constable, sir? Because you are not mandated to enforce... constable on the way. Common. Good. Well, we need to speak yeah. with the constable. So would you please leave? When the constable arrives... You can speak to the constable, constable outside. That's fine. Okay, can we, can we go when now? the constable arrives, they need to speak with the constable in relation to certain members of this operation up here. Criminal yeah. acts. We do, yes. We do, yes. Okay. So what makes you think I can't ask you to leave? Where have I got that from? I understand the law. Understand the do you law. want to produce your oath to con counteract my understanding? Well, if, if you are causing alarm and harassment to anybody. I'm not causing alarm and harassment to anybody. I was asked to leave because the advisor in question refused to answer my question. Right. So I was asked to leave. So I then asked the manager for the reason. He wouldn't give it me, he just said they were ringing the police. Now, as far as the law goes, sir, you are not mandated to enforce common law. You are an officer. That's a statute. Oh. But, to be quite honest with you, sir, you're actually guilty of impersonating a police constable. But we haven't got that far with this yet. Right, okay. Okay. All right. Afternoon, constables. First, I just want to inform you that there's no peace being breached here at all. I've been asked to leave because the advisor chose not to answer a specific question that I put to her. Um, 
when I asked the manager why, under what criteria I had to leave, he didn't give me any. He didn't give me his last name and said he didn't have to tell me he was just going to ring the police, which I suggested was a good idea. The PCSO has arrived, which I've informed him that he's not mandated to enforce common law, therefore we needed a constable. You two are constables, I take it. No, I'm not. You're not. Sure. It's just you that I need to deal with it. You are a constable, yes. I take it. Right. I need to make a charge here of criminal behaviour from this office in relation to making sanctions against me on fraud and deception. I have the evidence in recorded interviews. I have about 15 of them. Fully explains the situation and these people actually put themselves in the dock. But nothing I have had to do just by the way that they are acting and the way they have diverted away from law in order to make sanction against me, which has left me without money for 12 weeks. Today, the question I specifically asked this particular advisor is because she is a New Deal advisor. I, a few weeks ago, put in writing to Tom Root, the manager at this office, that I was rescinding all signatures to anything outside of my job seeks agreement based on the fact that they were gained through deception. So I rescinded the New Deal. Now, the reason why I asked this particular advisor today why I was seeing her, given she's a New Deal advisor and I'm no longer on the New Deal, was a valid question. She refused to answer and just demanded that I had to partake of this new raft of extravagant baloney, basically. Now, I spoke, this guy came over here who's a manager, and I asked him to validate the reason why I had to leave, as I'm breaching no peace. I asked a valid question. And if he refused to answer the question. Don't have to breach a piece to be asked to leave anywhere. It'd be like in a pub or anything like that. I could get asked to leave while I'm in drinking. It's up to the discretion of the uh, the manager. Quite and agree. The, uh, and obviously the manager people work with it. So as far as that goes, to be asked to leave, you'll have to leave. Anything else, there's a lot of civil matters in that that you were going on about there. Correct. Which you'd have to go and see a solicitor about. And then your solicitor, if he feels there's criminal matters in it, will then get in contact with ourselves and then we'll deal with it there. That's the only advice I can give you. You'll have to see a solicitor if you feel that there's any fraudulent transactions or anything going on like that. Present him with the evidence, see what he says. If he feels there's criminal proceedings in it, he will then get in contact with us and then the proceedings will then go forward. Well, we're already doing that, but we're just bypassing you guys because we're going directly to Crown Court. Right. What we've got here is an incident whereby the job centre itself, which has caused me considerable troubles on fraud and deceptions, constantly, which I have proved. Well, your solicitor then should have said that by no means can you come back in here. If you're well, no, putting because... these to court, then basically you are putting that in danger by coming here and speaking to them. Well, they, they, oh. they call me in. I don't come on my own account. They your call me in, so I have to come. No, your solicitor should still advise you. If you're taking it to court in any way, shape or form, you are basically then classing yourselves as the aggrieved party and you're classing these as the offenders and you make no contact until you get to court or through solicitor. But as you can way. understand, we are still gathering evidence right. at this stage. Right, well, if you're gathering evidence against them, they have every right to ask you to leave. Especially okay, if you're going to court in them. Even if they're a civil service? Yes. As a taxpayer? Yes. You Can I ask you under you... what law that... It's a, civil, it's a civil matter that's going through at the moment. Your solicitor should have told you that you were not to come back. We it. haven't commenced proceedings yet. As I said, we're still gaining and gathering the evidence. Because this has, the more evidence we have, the better we can enact change in the whole system. 